Hello, and welcome to a very special chocolate taste test video today. I'm sitting here in the Italian Alps with some alpine cows and their cowbells ringing on the mountains behind me, and I'm going to be tasting two types of milk chocolate that is made with alpine milk. So I'm excited to do this in this very beautiful place. But those gray clouds mean that it's thinking about raining soon, so I'm going to start this fast. <laughs> My name is Dara, and I'm an American who lives in Texas part of the year and in Gloucestershire, England part of the year. And normally my videos are about Britain and British food and British culture and British animals and British nature and British architecture. But right now I'm on holiday in Europe. So we're doing some stuff in Italy and Austria and France and all the rest of the stuff. And we love chocolate. So we're gonna try some Alpine chocolate today. First up is Milka, which I believe is Swiss chocolate. And the Swiss are known for some pretty good chocolate. Second up is Ritter Sport, and this, I believe, is German chocolate. But the front of the Milka bar says, Chocolate con leche de los Alpes. That's me trying to pronounce Italian like it's Spanish, so I don't know if that's anywhere close. But, uh, but I know enough. Oh, oh, it also says in English on this little, <laughs> milk pail here, 100% alpine milk chocolate. And then on Ritter, it says 100% latte alpino. So I'm pretty sure that means alpine milk as well. So I don't know if you can hear the cowbells in the back, but it's pretty awesome tasting <laughs> alpine milk chocolate with the alpine cows behind me. All right, so here is the here is the Milka. Oh, how adorable. There is a little um, cow and then the Milka brand. It's a little bit soft chocolate and very creamy. Doesn't have a strong chocolate liquor taste. It's just very creamy. I mean, it tastes chocolatey, don't get me wrong, but it's not dark chocolate. It's definitely very creamy and sweet, but it's delicious. And I'm excited to eat more <laughs> once this taste test is over. Now, let's try the Ritter because the wind is picking up, which probably means it's about to start raining on me. Now this Ritter brand of chocolate has all kinds of flavors like hazelnut and marzipan and all that, which I'm not as big a fan of. So I just got the plain milk chocolate and it says Ritter Sport on these little, it's thicker. It's got little chunky cubes. The Ritter is not quite as soft as the Milka and I feel like it is maybe a little bit sweeter and not quite as creamy. Hello, this is future Dara sitting in her editing suite in Texas, trying to figure out what in the Sam heck just happened with that video. As I recall, I panned the camera over to show you the beautiful view of the Alpine mountains behind me. And then I panned back and finished the video of telling you which chocolate bar I liked better. But apparently <laughs> I turned the camera off at the point I did that pan and I never noticed. So I will tell you that I loved both of the chocolate bars and enjoyed gobbling down the rest of both of them, along with some help from Ian, after the taste test was over, but I did prefer the Milka. I would eat both of those chocolate bars over any American chocolate any day of the week, and I hate to say it, but I would probably give the Milka a little bit of an advantage over Cadbury Dairy Milk even. So, 
highly recommend those Alpine chocolate bars um, and even would choose Milka as my favorite, but sorry that my video ended <laughs> in such a bizarre way. This is the joys of travel vlogging and you just never quite know how things are gonna go. But I hope you enjoyed my chocolate taste test and the beautiful view of the Alpine mountains. Turns out it did start raining and I very abruptly did end the video and ran inside because I was getting rained on. So I guess that's why I never checked the footage to make sure the rest of the video was there. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.